Okay, welcome back. What I did was uh, I filled up the smoke generator with a syringe. Um, I think the last thing I was doing wrong uh, was that I was using just uh, this uh, straight out of the bottle. It was just uh, getting stuck in the neck there and just uh, with air bubbles below it. Now it's running much better. <clears throat> Sorry, this is part two. And as you can see, the smoke generator is running uh, much better now when it's full. And I filled it properly. So um, I just wanted to do this uh, part two uh, of my uh, video um, because uh, I think the last one, I'm just going to back it up. I think the last one I didn't fill the smoke generator up properly. I'm going to remove this uh, truck cleaner car here and just I'm just gonna put it over here and turn it off there we go all right so yeah it just the smoke generator runs much better when it's full I think what was happening was I was only putting a couple drops and it was getting stuck in the neck of the stock there. Um, you really have to use a syringe to get the smoke oil down into the bottom of the smoke generator and so you don't get air bubbles also. Because the neck on this, on these small soy type Smoke generator. I'm gonna slow it down here. It really, it's very narrow. You can kind of see it there. Very small, very narrow. There's the larger type of soy th smoke generators that are uh, much better. And of course, like if you're looking at, um, let's say this MTH over here, it's a lot, a lot larger the opening. And um, there's there's one with the larger, large and the big boy with the larger type soy soy smoke generators and the Y6B Broadway has a larger opening um, so yeah you got to use a, a syringe with these smaller ones anyway thanks for watching part two bye for now